Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so, Rena, you get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. So, in today's video, as you can see by the title and by my outfit, if I'm wearing orange, we're talking about my business. Y'all should already know that. This is my favorite color, all of that. So, yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm just kind of giving you guys like a sit down, transparent kind of video when it comes to being an um, entrepreneur. I know I give you guys a lot of behind the scenes of my influencer life, but I also wanna give you guys more of the entrepreneurship life style videos because I did have a whole playlist about that. I'll link it somewhere up here. Um, last year when I first started my business so I want to go ahead and revamp that re get back into it and stuff like that so we're gonna do more sit down videos kind of giving you guys the raw and uncut version of what it's like to be an entrepreneur that way if you're thinking about doing it or if you're already doing it you might find some inspiration through this and um, I'm gonna just try to be more candid with you guys as to what's going on and how to do it how I got through it and stuff like that so if you're interested in any of that go ahead and stay tuned <laughs> I am the CEO of That So Collection. My Instagram will be over here on the side. Um, I started off by just selling lashes. So I wanted to be a lash business, but then I was like, you know, my girls, I relate to more than just lashes. You know, I have lashes on today because I was shooting bulk content, but every day I don't wake up with lashes on. So that is when I started to expand into other things like lash applicators, sunglasses, and I have a few more things coming out. I know I keep saying that, but I really do uh, have more stuff coming up so that you guys can, um, you know see how i reach out to different audiences i also um sell my clothes on poshmark so that is a separate business even though it's on a separate platform um so those are multiple different streams of income that i created in order to you know make revenue <laughs> so uh, we have poshmark and then we have shopify which is what my uh, business thrives off of majority of the way um yeah so yeah that's a little bit of background um, i started it during the pandemic when everybody was pretty much inside for the most part i don't know about atlanta atlanta i've been doing its own thing since day one but uh for the most part majority of my audience was inside on their phones so using social media um really did cause a spike in my sales and things like that so i was able to branch off of that utilize that feature um because nobody was at work everybody most of the people were on unemployment just sitting at home you know scrolling through instagram so that, i'm going to talk about that more later but yeah that's what i got into and i was like this is the perfect time everyone's home you know um nobody was really going anywhere but just feeling pretty inside and feeling pretty like within yourself like some days when i was in the um when we were going through the first stages of the pandemic i would be at home you know making videos and talking to you guys and i just felt normal doing my makeup as if i was going somewhere taking pictures and stuff like that y'all know i was posting pictures probably every single day on my personal page so yeah that is where this all started from and i utilized social media to grow pretty much so i want to talk about what i was doing prior to that um prior to that i was working at different staffing agencies and you know i just wasn't happy like i've always known that i was going to be a ceo or a owner of something tangible um only because i like to connect with my audience i'd like you guys to have something that came from me specifically and stuff like that so i knew i wanted something i knew i didn't want clothing but um like i knew i didn't want to be a fashion designer i knew i didn't want to do any of that um prior to even being on youtube full fully like how i am now and consistently i was a makeup artist so i worked alongside a photographer and i would do everybody's lashes and everybody's um you know makeup for their shoots so if you booked with him you automatically would book with me and i would get a cut of the shoot for doing your makeup and stuff like that so that's what i was doing at first and then i was like you know i just don't like the whole setup of having clients relying on them to pay my bills because if they cancel then boom now I, know, now I gotta do something else <laughs> so i didn't really like that that much so i then 
said you know what let's sit down let's go to the drawing board and see what is my favorite part of makeup so i already have a friend her name is corey she does lip gloss so i know i didn't want to do lip gloss um i'm going to link her information down below so i know i didn't want to do lip gloss and i knew i didn't want to do lipstick for sure because like that just gives me the creeps because after the whole Jacqueline Hill thing, I was like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not doing lipsticks. <laughs> so yeah. Um, then I was like, you know what? When you put on a pair of lashes, you don't even have to do your makeup. If your lashes are done and you have lip gloss on, mwah, perfect. It's literally the perfect combination. Like you're already put together that quick. As long as your hair done, your lashes and lip gloss are on, you don't really need any makeup foundation, anything like that. Um, and like I said, a lot of things were closed, so it wasn't like you could just go to a lash appointment. So I was like, you know what? Let's make lashes. I want people to feel beautiful, even with nowhere to go, even with everything being closed and stuff like that. So that is how That's So Collection came about. And I knew I didn't want to call it um, That's So Lash Company because I knew I wanted to eventually do more than just lashes. So I didn't want to buckle down when it came to choosing a name. I didn't want to create just one thing because if I then created something else, then like if I, if I had a swimsuit line and I threw swim, that's so swim in the title and then I started selling lashes, it wouldn't make sense, you know? So that's something I would say take into consideration when it comes to naming your business because that is your, gonna be your name unless you rebrand, go through the state and change everything, okay? So it's a lot, it's a lot, okay? So sometimes I get this question a lot um, in regards to licensing and LLCs and stuff like that. So I do have an LLC and I am not, I don't have a, uh, I don't know how to explain this. So I don't have a permit because I am not in a building. So I sell online. So as long as I pay for that domain and I register my business with the state for like when taxes come and stuff like that, then I'm good. But if I had a physical place, then I would need a business permit and all of that extra stuff. So I don't want you guys to confuse the two because I don't have a physical location. Like I work outside of my house in my office. So there's always a way around certain things. Sorry guys, somebody's calling me. I work from home online. Um, so I promote online, social media plays a big role, like I said before, and then I just post the quantity and stuff like that to Shopify, make sure I take my product pictures and stuff like that. There are some slow times in, in being an entrepreneur just all together, even as just an influencer, you know? Um, there are some slower months than others, and that is why I don't just have my hand in one pot i have my hands in multiple pots and i also have a nine to five so i'm working at night it's really eight to five i have an eight to five i am on youtube with you guys i give you guys three videos a week i have a poshmark and i have a business so we got a lot of things going on so once you change your mindset to let me see how do i want to think about this so i was i was watching kayla cake and she was saying how um you know, how do you find a balance and stuff like that? Um, but if you have a nine to five, you're like, okay, well, I have to wake up by 7.30 in order for me to do this, do this, do this, and so that I can get to my nine to five on time, right? So that's the same thing with these businesses. I literally have to write, like, I'm not even kidding, like, look at my notebook. And I literally have to put check marks and stuff like that of anything that comes to my mind. I could be at work and it comes to my mind. I have free time or I'm on break. I'm jotting down stuff that I need to do and I'm check marking it. I find that when I work, um, when I write things down physically, I can hold myself more accountable to that because then I start checking it out or marking it out and then my mindset is like, okay, we've accomplished something, we've accomplished something. And also don't overwork yourself. This is really just a pep talk and mindset kind of video. Ignore my nail, it popped off, I wear press arms. <laughs> Um, this is really like a sit down talk motivation type of video. This is not me showing you guys anything pretty much. This is just me bringing you guys back to square one, figure out why you want to do something, figure out who you want to be from doing it, what you want to um, emulate, the kind of lifestyle that you want to portray to others so that they're able to see that they can do it too. That's why I do what I do, you know? That's why I wear this hoodie because I feel like I am a creative. Like I'm just a creative in all aspects. So when I think in the way that I think, it's I can do anything. And if I can do it, 
y'all can too. So I want y'all to look at me. I'm like a regular girl, okay? <laughs> I'm a regular girl. It's just that my brain is constantly on and constantly moving and stuff like that. So you want to have some kind of structure. Don't be like the Energizer Bunny just running all over the place, okay? Have time to yourself. Think to yourself. Create a strategy. Create a marketing tool. Um, make sure you use hashtags on Instagram, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how you can be successful. Pay attention to the trends. You need to also make time to sit and watch what everybody else is doing because then you'll miss it. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Instagram, YouTube, all of that is like a big giant algorithm wheel, okay? Something could be trending in January and then you do it in March. It's not going to pick up the same momentum as it would in January when everybody else was doing it. That's not to say copy everybody, but be inspired. Pay attention to what's trending. Like when the um, bus it challenge was going on, everybody was going viral. Okay. My video got 11,000 views on my reel, on my personal page and my normal reels just do like a thousand minimum 2000, right? But because everybody was doing the busted challenge and using that song, my views went up just the same as my business page. Like there's a, uh, there's one that's like, um, it costs that much cause it takes me fucking out, fucking hours. That one, that one was trending about last month with all the influencers and stuff. So that is a sound you want to do. Okay. And the, like the did it on them challenge with the transitions, all of that stuff. You want to learn that stuff because trendy things catch people's attention. Um, I know if I'm scrolling down, if I was scrolling and I heard the busted challenge, then it grabbed my attention because it's like, Oh, another one. Boom. I want to see the transition. I want to see where you go from this to that. I want to see that. So use those same tools that you would for your personal branding for your business as well, because then they will sync and people will want to know what you have going on across all platforms. Um, the lashes that I'm wearing right now are in the style full and they kind of give me like a, a lash extension type of feel. Let me look my glasses up. They give me like lash extensions type of feel. And yeah, I just really love them, you know? So yeah, guys. Remember to check out my business. It will be linked down below in the description box as well as my Poshmark. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other entrepreneurship videos you guys are interested in because I'm willing to share anything that could lighten the load on you guys because I know when you first start, it's nerve-wracking. You don't know what to do. You don't know what you're doing wrong. You see all these other girls with this kind of lifestyle able to do the things that you want to do and you just want it to happen for you. There is no elevator to there is no elevator to success okay you have to take the stairs you have to trial and error you have to figure things out for your own what might what might work for me might not even work for you you see what i'm saying um so it's really just trial and error i always say try something once before you say you'll never do it um and post reels the reels are what's popping right now on instagram so i say post reels Make sure you post reels. Make sure you take quality Instagram pictures of your product. Make sure you have your customers wanting to take pictures with your product because then that just gives you free content to post. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. Oh, and make sure you wear your own stuff or use your own stuff. You know, people don't want to support you if you don't even like your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? So don't talk down on yourself. Make sure that you are speaking positivity over your business, over your life, over any aspect that you think you want to succeed in pretty much. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.